mystical elves of the Crystal Spy have arrived to join the Minion Master's roster, bringing their unique magical abilities along with them. The main aspect of this card set is the new Mana Surge mechanic, which will boost the card's attack speed by 50% while their owner has over 6 mana stored. This makes some of these cards more reserved and reliant on strong mana management to unlock the full potential of their power. We shall waste no time and examine these new units in great detail. The first common card of the set is the new Crystal Archers. They're a free mana duo of Elven Archers with a good eye and an aim to match. They're very weak in terms of their health, making them susceptible to all but the lowest damaging removal, and their attack speed is rather slow. However, they make up for this by having a huge range of 12 and a mana surge mechanic which provides a huge boost to their threat level, making them a great unit for backing up pushes. Make sure to watch out for that 6 mana requirement though, as they're significantly weaker without the buff, so they're not going to be a good fit in every deck. The second common card is the Crystal Construct. A close relative of the Guardian, this elven machination drops its ability to protect friends in exchange for being far cheaper to deploy. It has all the stats of a regular Guardian, minus its shielding ability, for the mana cost of 5. However, once the card has been played, it instantly grants its master 2 mana. It makes the card synergize well with starting pushes or throwing down a huge chunk of HP on the board for your opponent to deal with, but can be very weak on the defense and still lacks a good offensive capability, much like the original Guardian has. Next we have the rare card, Crystal Sentry. The sentries of the Crystal Spire are elites, trained in their unique, lethal weaponry, allowing them to take down even the largest enemy with no problem at all. They're a 4 mana ranged unit with a short range of 4, but make up for it by being slightly tankier than most ranged dream at 250 health. Their DPS might seem mediocre at first, but they also come with the mana surge mechanic, giving them the unique role of being both a semi-tank and a somewhat effective damage dealer that can protect themselves from air units. Our second rare card is the Crystal Arcanist. This elven mage doesn't know that many spells, but she certainly knows how to use her limited toolset effectively. A 3 mana ranged unit, the Crystal Arcanist boasts a strong range of 10 and an AoE attack, with the ability to hit both ground and air. Her impact damage might be weak, but Mana Surge has her covered in that department too. However, she's certainly a unit that needs protecting, having a pathetic 45 HP total that leaves her vulnerable to just about anything. Keep her safe and keep your mana high and you'll reap the benefits of having her around. Where there's mana, there'll always be mana puffs, and the new card Mana Puff Madness is a demonstration of just how crazy the little ones can get over it. Tagging alongside the mana obsessed elves in this season, this 2 mana supreme spell card will spawn 4 mana puffs for both sides of the battle. Keep yours alive to maintain that juicy flow of mana to fuel your elven cards. Not satisfied with appearing in just one card, the Crystal Sentries are also featured in the 6 mana Supreme spell card, Armored Escort. This card has no immediate effect, but the next range minion you play after using this card will have two Crystal Sentries spawning in front of it. This card has some interesting properties. The ranged minion does not have to be the next minion you play, so you can play this early on and hold the buff until you really need it. Additionally, if you cast multiple copies of Armored Escort, only one instance will activate when you play a ranged minion. For example, if you play two copies of Armored Escort, the next two ranged minions you play will have two Crystal Sentries accompanying it. Overall, it's a great value card for its mana cost with a unique conditional requirement, but can be punished as the combo overall will cost a lot of mana. Our first legendary card is the new spell card, Arcane Bolt. This 5 mana spell is one of the most powerful forms of Elven magic, and it certainly packs a punch. This card will stun the highest health ground minion in its radius for 7 seconds. If that minion has 400 or less health, it will instead destroy it entirely. Arcane Bolt is an interesting removal card that can help deal with high value threats from the enemy push or stop snowballing cards before they can become too much of a threat. It's also a good finisher for larger minions that you've whittled down previously since it relies on its current HP rather than the maximum. Finally, we have the Elven Commander, also known as Lord Sentinel Felic. This legendary minion is our first 10 mana card to enter the game, and he's bringing friends along with him. On his own, he's a fairly tanky melee minion that can dish out some punishment, but definitely not worth that 10 mana cost. However, Lord Sentinel Felic is our first card with a bonus from the deck building process. If your deck has 4 or more spells in it, including spells gained from master perks, 
six crystal archers will spawn in formation behind him. This makes the card an all-in-one push package with some solid value for meeting its requirements. All those archers can dish out some serious damage, but make sure to keep them safe as they've still got that 45 HP total. That's all for today, Masters. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a lot of fun with these new Elven cards. We're interested to see what kind of decks you can come up with them. Cheers from Beta Dwarf.